Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about the symbol versus the clone tool. Basically, it's a symbol docker, but you can find this symbol manager under um, under edit. But anyway, if you would take this and make a clone and then duplicate it around, a lot of times on the clone tool, you're going to lose some of those duplicates. Or it's going to you're going to run out of Clonability, I guess as you'd call it. Uh, I've had a lot of trouble with that, and it's a little difficult because you're you're cloning it, and then you're making copies of the clone and then duplicate. I have found the symbol tool works very well. I'll go to Windows, Dockers, Symbol Manager, and we're just going to take this shape and put it in in our symbols. As you can see, it turned blue. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. Back up here. Control D, double click on it, get our rotation, and put our rotation right there. And rotate this 10, well let's go 20 degrees. Duplicate it again. Okay, now you've got it the way you want it, but you want to change it up a little bit. Make sure this is highlighted. Go down here to edit, and it just gives you your one. Now this isn't as cool as the clone tool because you can't ever see it actually working, but it's mainly for sizing, I guess. But I'm gonna add a node by double clicking, and I'm just gonna put a little flare to it. Now right down here, lower corner, finish editing object. And look what it did. It did basically the same thing you could do with the clone tool. But a lot of times on the clone tool, when you clone it that many times, or duplicate it that many times, you run out of uh, space. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. I'm trying to do this real quick. And thank you for watching.